So who was in charge of the demolition of the Marlboro House and was it properly permitted? Local 10 News reporter and investigator Amy, uh, Amy Viteri is working that part of our story today. Amy. Well, several companies were partnering on this upcoming building project. We're near one of the offices for one of those companies. Now, what went wrong today and who is responsible? Those are questions that still need answers. But more than one Miami Beach City official told me today that this is not the way this was supposed to happen. The plan was to tear down the Marlboro House building on Collins Avenue and put up this, a modern oceanfront tower in its place. Last year, the project's developers, Miami Beach Associates LLC, initially requested a permit for demolition by implosion, something Miami Beach officials say they no longer allow. They'd been denied, so it was, it was standard demolition that was supposed to be taking place. They had a standard demolition permit. According to these city records of that permitting process, in November of last year, the company changed their request to a conventional demolition and got approved. According to notices sent out at neighboring condos, that work was scheduled to begin Monday. So this was planned? Yeah, this is a planned permitted demolition. At Miami Beach Associates Brickle office, they referred yeah. us to Winmar Construction for details about the demo work and told us this. No, it didn't collapse. This was how it was supposed to happen. But several people familiar with the project tell us this is not how it was supposed to go. Winmar says their subcontractor handled demolition. A statement from Winmar's president, Luis Leon, reads in part, demolition was conducted by Winmar's subcontractor, Allied Bean Demolition, who was responsible for performing all of the project's demolition work. We're working closely with city officials and industry agencies to understand what happened during Allied's demolition of the structure. Regardless, Miami Beach officials say there are permits required if debris is going to come off site off of the property in any way like it clearly did today. They say contractors need to get permits to secure, for example, the beach area and right of way areas nearby that property. None of that happened, according to city officials. I also spoke with a representative from OSHA this evening who tells me they are officially investigating. More to come for sure. We're live in Miami. I'm Amy Viteri, Local 10 News. So many questions. Okay, Amy, thanks a lot.